Yeah, this is a 600 watt portable power station. It's made by All Power AP for short. Um, as far as the size of the unit itself, this is probably the smallest unit I've ever seen. I mean, and I've seen quite a few units. I've probably done 15 views on a portable power station. But like I said earlier, it's a 600 watt portable power station. You can charge it either with AC, DC, or you can use solar panels. These are the panels right here that come with it. All your accessories are right here in this bag right here. I can pull them out and show them to you. Pretty handy bag to have, but this right here plugs it into um, wall current. You just plug that into the portable power station. That goes into um, your wall right here. These go to your panel, your solar panels, and then you plug it in right here. Now these here do have what you call Anderson hookups, so if you wanted to go with your regular solar panel plug, you'd have to change this over right here, which is not too complicated, it's just a little extension, but yeah, there you go. It's got a light on it, it's got um, two plug-ins, but I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go all in detail with that right there later in the video, because it's too bright out here, so I'm about to um, take it someplace in the shade so I can show you all the different features that it does have. But like I said, 600 watt portable power station, 100 watt portable panels, and let's see what else we see. Let's set the panels up, see what they look like. Okay, the panels open up very well. It's got a nice Belco strip right here to keep the panels closed. I mean, that's real good. It's got a real nice handle there you carry the panels with. Um, the kick plates look to be real sturdy too. It's got a kick plate for each panel. I'll flip it over. I'll flip it open first. Okay, that's with it open. So you can see they're really, they're sturdy. I mean, they really are sturdy. I'll flip them around so y'all can see the kick panels on them. And uh, you also have little places there in case you want to weigh them down with a string or something. Or, you know, strap them down to the ground. It's got one on each corner. That is the first time I've ever seen that, but that's a good idea because a lot of time the wind will blow them down. But these little hooks right here, you can put strings on and tie them to the ground. But let's turn around and show you what the uh, kick plates look like. I know it's real sunny out here, but see those are sturdy kick plates. They really are. They're good. They're good kick plates. Usually you can't do that panels. Usually if you hit panels like that, they'll flop over. Um, all your accessories for the panels are right here. Let me close it up all the way. It's got all your accessories right there. Going to your power plaque, those are your plug-in. These this end right here. Let me put this down. Take these out of this bag. But really, overall, these are nice panels. Okay, these two ends, these go to your panels. This in here would plug into the portable power station. Okay, this here, it's got the, the same thing, only here it's got the Anderson connection. The Anderson connection is just like a square peg. Um, a lot of people don't know what they are, so I'll show you what they look like. Okay, these here would go to your panels. These here would go to the power station. Hopefully y'all can see that, but that's what you call Anderson plug. But uh, that's a new thing they came out with. But this unit here has both of them, so. So you should do real good with both of them. But let's, um, let's check out the power pack. I'm going to take that over in the shade and set it up and everything so y'all can see what it, um, what it looks like. Because, I mean... Okay, I brought the unit inside because it was just so sunny outside, and this unit here has got a really dark face to it, but as you can see, it's 42% charged. It's got 327 watts going into it. I don't have anything coming out of it, so the output is right there. The fan just kicked on. It's got a, uh, a DC port right there to plug your DC in if you want to run something off a of DC current. It's got um, two AC ports right here 
that's pretty cool. I've never seen ports that have cover covers on them like that before, but there you got one right there and you got a another one right there, which to me that's pretty cool. I just like I said I've never seen that before. Right here you cut the AC power on like that and you cut the DC on right there and it's got two U USB cords right there. It also has a light. I'm going to charge the light on, but I'm sure it's going to blind everything, but there you go. It's pretty bright light. Uh, yeah. See if I can get it cut off. There, it cut off. Up here on the top, you also can charge your phone. I'm not sure how you do it, but I've never done it, but it has a charging station right there, and it's up to 15 watts, I believe. It's got a real good handle to carry it around by. This thing doesn't weigh anything. I think it weighs like, um, 12 pounds but anyway there you go i just wanted to bring it inside to show you all the um the face of it because it was kind of well it's real sunny outside but this is one of the darkest faces i've ever seen and like i said before this is one of the smallest units i've ever seen for being a 600 watt portable power station it comes with a manual which it has a lot of stuff in this manual i'll show you some of it it basically gives you um description on everything on the portable power pack uh, any questions you got you could go to the um, manual it also has your, um, your input your output your um, battery information all that good stuff and it's got your cables I've never seen a um, power pack with a cover on it like that before the power unit plugged up this closes down you pull your cord out and store this is for your Anderson hookups right here. Um, so that's what these cables are for. If you want to use your solar panels, use those for your solar panels. This right here goes into the Anderson unit, which is over here on the side. I just showed you a little while ago. Everything comes in a nice little pouch. The power cord comes in that pouch right there. Your manual and your warranty are right there. But... Overall, this is a pretty nice unit. I'm not sure what it really sells for. I, all I really know is it's a 600 watt unit and you can charge it off of AC or you can charge it off of DC using Anderson panels or Anderson, a hookup Anderson that goes through um, solar panels. But there you go. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, I'm just gonna kick back for the rest of the day and relax. And like I said, it's this 600 watt unit. It's really small, really compact, really light. Um, overall, it seems to be a good product. I really haven't done a whole lot of experience with it, to be honest with y'all. I have my own power packs so I like to use them. I do do a lot of reviews on power packs. So if y'all enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Hopefully, you know, y'all are learning by these videos I'm doing. If y'all have any comments or questions, put them below and I'll be glad to answer them to the best of my ability. See you in the next video. Have a good one.